right, my brother? How are you? Pretty good. How are you, my man? That's right. That's right. What's your name, man? Khaled. Khaled. Yes, you, fit? Khaled. you said Khaled? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Avery. Gotcha. I like the jacket, man. <laughs> so you're, 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 uh, you told me you were a Muslim. Uh, yes, sir. You, uh, you saw this. What, you, what do you think of the tale? I, I want to know your honest ob observation, honest man. Honest opinion? Yeah. Honest opinion, if it was, let me teach you about Christianity, would have been a better tent than this guy is not a prophet. You feel me? Mm. This guy is not part of if the goal is for you to teach Christianity, by all means, yeah, go for it. Yeah. But you know what? Let me take this guy. Let me put this picture on there. Let me. Now this is just like, yo, let me put this this whole religion. I'm gonna stomp on this. One. You feel me? That's, that's how it, 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 the, that's how it comes. It, it comes out. You feel me? Um, but I, I I appreciate you coming over and talking about it because. Uh, you know, it, it can be triggering for a lot of people, right? It's, it's definitely an attention catcher, yep. and sometimes it goes the wrong way with certain people who are really deep emotionally into it, but I, I, I appreciate you, Khaled, for coming and be like, you know, you can give your honest opinion about it. Of course. Uh, you know, as, as we live in a country, free speech. So yep. All means you say you do whatever you yeah. want to say. Yeah. You live in that country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, and it's not even about, like, okay, if, 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 man, I don't even know where to start. Like, it's just like, it's just everywhere. Like, I feel like, honestly, like I said before. So let, let's, let's start here. Let's, uh, let's start. Can you tell me, um, can you tell me the biggest reason uh, why you believe Muhammad is a prophet? Let's say, like, not, not going too deep, not going too difficult, but what is, like, the number one reason if, to, that, you know, that, Convinced you that Muhammad is a prophet? Because I'm willing to hear it. I'm he willing to hear it. illiterate. He didn't know how to read nor write. Okay. So, because he didn't know how to read and write, that makes him a prophet somehow. The way... See, there's a thing, right? If you know Arabic, right? Uh -huh. If you understand Arabic, yeah. you would understand the eloquency of Arabic and how high this, this speech is. You feel me? Uh, the speech is so, so great and so perfect. Okay. That a man that can nor no that can't read nor write can't can't come up with that. Come on this side. So okay, I got you. So the language of the of the Quran is beautiful. That you it can't be replicated. What if I said okay, um, the, the 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 bars of Lil Wayne so so tight. Okay. Can't be replicated. Can't nobody do it like Lil Wayne. It's error though. Huh? As an arrow in that state. Why? Because he was replicated. By who? A lot of artists. How many artists do come on? Man, awesome. That, that just literally look like him. Awesome. Right? So what if I showed you that Muhammad was replicated? That what's even some things that even some some things were replicated were, before him or at, after? Him? No, uh, actually during his time. During while. While at, he was doing it. Yeah. Somebody else doing the same. Thing. That, that, at, as a matter of fact, one of his companions. Right. said something three times mm -hmm. that actually made it into the crib. What he said was so good yeah. and how he said it was so good that exactly what he said made it into the Quran. What if I showed you that? Okay, so who, who's the companion? His name's uh, Uthman. Uthman right? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Umar, Umar, it's oh, Umar. 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 So, Umar ibn Khattab. That's right. right. So he said, and I'm going to show you this because I don't want you to take my word for no, it, right? No, I want to show you. about the females? Yeah, the 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 wise. So you you know about it, huh? Uh, chapter sixty six, verse five, or sixty one, verse five. One of those. Covered up and yeah. Like, oh, shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. verse came down and says, "Hey, cover up. up. You shouldn't do that." Yeah. Yes. Okay. So exactly how Umar said it. Right. So Umar said something so good right. that it made it into right. the Quran. So would you say that Umar was a prophet too? No, I would say Umar is a companion. And then hear me out. I wouldn't say that. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, right, when he was speaking, right, he wasn't speaking saying, this is how I feel, let's do this. He wouldn't speak, like, right? of, his, of his own desire. Exactly, right? right. He wouldn't say nothing that he wants to say. You are Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I know the belief. Like, I see, listen to me, man, I really enjoy the videos you and, you know, 
our main man, Chef uh, <laughs> Uthman. <Uthma. laughs> Very profound, right? Yeah. But he's like, there's one part that I constantly cannot get out of my head. He's asking the same question over and over and over again. And then you guys will give him be like, okay, yep, we'll answer that. Can you answer this question first? You guys will answer that question. He would answer that question to his best of his ability. Then he will come back and he'll be like, no, we're not going to answer your question. Even though that we told you that we're going to answer your question. Right? I was, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to know as why wasn't that question answered. Okay. So you're talking, okay. So number one, he didn't answer our question. We're talking about chapter three, verse 146, right? Where he's supposed to translate that. That's, the, that's what he was supposed to do. I think he did, though. He didn't. He tried to give a, a, a bootleg explanation and skip over, but he, this was the deal. You, tell, you translate chapter 3, verse 146, you write it down and translate it for us. We'll answer your question. Still have that. Still have it to this day. And when he, he gave him this, he handed him the marker on the video, and you see Uthman... He had it in his hand. So here, here's my question, right? My question will come out to me here. Do either of you speak Arabic? No. So how would you know if his answer was the right way? Because we, because we studied it. We, so you, you don't have to. I don't know Spanish. Like for, let me get, let me, let me just say it. Let me, you, you'll understand in a second. I don't have to understand Spanish to know what Dios means. Dios means God. Right. I don't I don't speak Spanish, right. but I can do a word study right. and understand what that word means. Right, right, so right. the same with Arabic. I don't speak the Arabic language, right. but I can do word studies. So when Uthman makes a, a blunder right. and says this word means this, I'm like, no, according to your scholars in the dictionaries, yeah. it means this. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So we could do word studies and right. come to the truth. Right. Okay. And so this is what we're holding him to. Okay. He promised him months ago. Yeah. I will. I will do this. I'll get to it. Yeah. He did the bottom one. Yeah. But won't do the top one okay. because he knows when he translates the top one, he'll, it'll expose him. Okay. So once he does that, we'll engage with so any question so he wants. The quest, okay, so but wait, wait, wait. Before, wait, before we get to Uthman, forget yeah, Uthman for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Uthman's a different character. I'm, I'm worried about Khaled. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You're your own individual Muslim, you are right? right? So you were, you were saying that Muhammad wasn't speaking out of his own desire, yes, sir. right? But he was not speaking out of his own desire. Right, he was, not, he was not speaking out of his own desire, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, and Uth, but Uthman, when he said something that made it into the Quran, he said, Omar. Oh, Omar, man, you got me thinking about Yeah, but uh, Umar, yeah. he said, my Lord agreed with me right. in, three, in three times, right. Right? right? My Lord agreed with me or I agreed with my Lord, right? right? Mm -hmm. So this came, he admits that it came from him. And just God agreed with what he said. So, but would we equate what Omar said to being divine revelation? Because what he said, it's in the Quran. What Omar is saying is how he's like, I feel, I, he feels, mm -hmm. this is, this, this is, is right. This is right, mm -hmm. right? So is that divine revelation? So now if it's being revealed to Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, right? And then automatically the words come out of his mouth saying that... The, that's saying not, exactly how he said he it? Says, that wouldn't be a divine revelation. Exactly. Because right? he says, I am feeling this way. Exactly. Once the speech comes out of the prophet Muhammad, he's wrong, yep. now it's divine. Okay, and so let me ask you this. Now, let's say that you uh, say something like, say, 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 what's up, Avery? Just say that for me. What's up, Avery? And I say, yeah, exactly how you just said it. What's up, Avery? And I put it in a book. I put it in a book and I say, God revealed that to me. Would you believe me? That, that wouldn't make sense. Exactly. Who are you? Exactly. Who you are. But like, even if I claim to be a prophet, right. even if I claim to be a prophet, let's say you even believe that I'm a prophet. Mm -hmm. If I just took the words that you said mm -hmm. and said, yes, God revealed that to me, what's up, Avery? Okay. And I put it in the book right. as if it's God's words. Would that make sense? So, but the, the, be the, honest. The, the revelation, the way that the revelation would come out, it wouldn't be like, oh, God just revealed this to me. It would come out if I said, hey, what's up, Avery? And I said, what's up, Avery? You would be like, yo, you're not talking normally. There's something wrong with It's you. the same words, though. Right, right. But I'm like, but you saying that, oh, God revealed it to me, that what you said is what I'm going to say now. Like, that's not how so why is it. So why is it that Umar's words made it into the Quran if it's not divine revelation? Because remember, it didn't come from Muhammad. It came from Umar. It came from Umar. Umar said that they should be veiled. Umar said, yeah. stop acting like this or Allah will replace right. you with new wives for Muhammad. Right. Exactly how it said it, it right. it's in the Quran. So how did it make it into the Quran if he's not a prophet? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's like, so like what I'm saying is this, this argument that Muslims bring that the Quran can't be replicated, it can't be copied, right. somebody did. Somebody did it 
Somebody did something so good yeah. that it made it into the Quran word for word what he said. Right. So that's, that's not a good argument for divine revelation, I would say. Okay. Would you have maybe something else? Something else that convinced you that Muhammad is a prophet? I, I, Muhammad is a prophet. Yeah. Um, what about miracles, prophecies, um, character? <laughs> tell me what you have. Like, you know, I, I, <laughs> I can tell something. Okay, tell me something. Yes, 13 wives. Okay. That's a miracle. 13 or 9? <laughs> I think or 13, like, I think the same nine, work time. Like Okay. I can say that that's okay. miracle because he had the power for I think 40 women God gave it to him. I don't know how many. I don't know exactly. Yeah, I know that. that's yeah. So, but he had multiple wives. Yeah, multiple, yeah, multiple wives. Wife, yeah. So I think that's a miracle. Yeah, that's okay. a miracle. I believe. Okay, cool. Let's just go with that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great one. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, six year one, so that's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I tell you why? Can, can I tell you why I don't take Muhammad as a prophet? Why? Because um, number one. He's not somebody that uh, exemplified prophethood. He okay. Okay. didn't have any signs to prove that he was a prophet all, uh, or, or prophecies. The prophets that came either had signs or they had prophecies like, yeah, and witnesses right, to, the, to those prophecies or some miracles, signs that proved and validified them as being a prophet. We don't see the same witness from Muhammad. All we see is just one man claiming that he's hearing from God, right? Now, the question is, okay, you hear from God? Prove it. Prove that you're hearing from God. What is your proof? Tell me. This is what the people were asking. Even the people would come to Muhammad and say, why does no sign come to you from your Lord like, like the signs came from Moses or Jesus? You know what I'm saying? What do you have? When he's talking, they're like, oh, we've heard this stuff already. These are fables. These are stories of old. We've heard this stuff already. You're not giving us nothing new. Right? So there wasn't any reason. Now, now the answer that, that's in the Quran is, Allah would tell Muhammad to respond by saying, I'm just a warner. I'm just here to warn you, right? I, the signs are only with my Lord. I'm just a warner. So in the Quran, it says Muhammad didn't do any miracles because these people were disbelievers, right? Allah says in chapter 17, verse 59, that nothing ref uh, um, we refrain from sending signs because they disbelieved in the past. So it's basically no point. If we gave Muhammad signs, you wouldn't believe anyway. So... We're not giving him any, any miracles. Okay. He's just your warner, right. right? That's what chapter 17, verse 59 says. Now, so no miracles, no prophecies. Now, so, okay, about the miracle part. Sure. Okay. Uh, there's a verse in the Quran, I don't really, I don't know what number it is, nor do I know this chapter, but uh, Allah says that he sent his prophet and the light, right? To guide the believers from the dark into the light. Yeah. So, a book, can take me from the dark to the light? What does this book pertain? Like, what does it have? Like, what does it really, you know what I mean? The book is the miracle. The ah. book itself is the miracle. Okay, so would you say then, for people who say that um, they were in prison and they got a hold of a Bible and came to the light, changed their ways, would yeah. you say that the Bible is a miracle? Um, I would tell them to, to brighten their horizons. Hmm. So that's not enough then. So we can't say that it's, it's enough for the Quran. Hear, hear me out. There's, there's an issue with the Bible, right? A lot of contradictions. A lot of issues. There's a lot of gaps, right? A lot of a lot of misconceptions. Like this one saying this one, this one saying this one. And then here's here's my question: Is the Bible the word of God? Like is is God speaking through this book? That's the question. It's inspired by God. Yes. No, 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 so no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Is it the so, word of God? Sure. So we don't believe how you believe the Quran is like literally God spoke. Yeah. yeah. We don't believe that about our Bible. We believe that God anointed men and picked men to convey His message. So He inspired men to write. Okay? So he, he gave them inspiration, right? gave them revelation, and they wrote with their personalities, with their observations of God's revelation, and they wrote and God gave them the freedom to convey the message how that fits them in their time and their characteristics, right. but it is his inspiration. He's they the all get it at the same time. The, 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 the inspiration, <laughs> or was there like? No, no, no. There's it's a it's over a span of about fifteen hundred years, forty different authors, forty different prophets and apostles, right. messengers, over a span of fifteen hundred years that got the inspiration of God. So it's not like all at one time. It's it's over time that this happened, so is, right? Should so, there be any? Like Moses wasn't at the same time with Jesus. No. Nope. Both inspired, right? right? So, but so that that's the thing. Now, if we're saying now that because a book brings someone out of 
a dark place. To the light. Yeah, to the light. Really? If we're if we're saying that that's not good enough for the Bible right. to say that that's miraculous, yeah. then we can't say the same about the cross. That can't be our standard. We have to come up with something else. Yes. Yeah. So it has to. Yes. Okay. So that has to be something else. Honestly, bro, like I really don't think, like when I say from the dark to the light, this religion of Islam or or or, or being a Muslim or following the book of the Quran, it will take. You will literally cut off whatever you were doing on a day to day basis. You know what I mean? Whatever it's drinking, smoking, feeding. Same with Christians. Okay. Some Christians you will have they will read. Saturday they're partying, Sunday they're going. Same to with Muslims. There, I agree. There are some Muslims that do that, right? But the the tolerance is not there for it's Muslims, right? If Muslims see each other doing that, they're calling each other. No, out. absolutely not. Are you, uh, Khalid? Yeah. Bro, I, I I promise you, there's I I was literally, uh, it's an app called Clubhouse. Yeah, I'm yeah. on I'm on the app like where it's audio. Right. Muslims are on there talking about how they smoke weed. Yeah. And and they laughed with each other. Oh, you 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 high right now? Yeah, I'm high. They was proud of okay, it. Okay, yeah, we can't we can't at the same time we can't base the. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. On with the religion, exactly. Right? So let's get away from that. Let's okay. get away from Christians who are good or Christians who are hypocritical. Yeah. Muslims who are good. Muslims who are hypocritical. Let's get rid of that. Let's talk about strictly what the Quran, Muhammad, right. Jesus taught. Right. Okay. So what Muhammad taught? Yeah. Do you agree with what Muhammad taught? Yes, sir. One hundred ten percent. Okay. So do you believe that Muhammad was the best example? Yes, sir. What if I could prove to you that you're better than Muhammad? That you no, morally, not. you're not? No, sir. Okay, so let me ask you this. Yes, sir. Would you ever sleep with a child? So, what, what day and age am I in? Ah, this is excellent. You're in, you're in nowadays. Today's yeah. 2022. 22. No, sir. All right, now let's say you were in the 7th century. Would you sleep with a child? Back, back in the day? Yeah. Where it was normal? Where everybody in their moms was doing it? Would you do it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, so what you just showed me is that Muhammad, at least, is not the best example for us in, in 2022, but he's a good, he, he's probably a good example for the seventh century. No, see now you, now that's just that bro, you, like how, how do you take that? And I'm telling you how, I'll, I'll tell you how, I'll break it down. So whenever we say somebody is the best example for mankind, right? Mankind, that means for me, in 2022, in exactly, exactly, exactly. So now, if, so he, if he wasn't here this time, he wouldn't be doing that. What he was saying. Would be doing. Excellent. Okay. So that means that Muhammad in the seventh century is not a good example for Avery in the twenty in the twentieth, twenty-first century, because what he did is wrong but for me to do. I'm, I'm, listen to what I'm saying. If we're, I'm giving you, because I don't, I don't agree, but I'm giving you this. I'm, I'm, I'm granting you that in seven in the seventh century. Fine, it's cool to do. That's okay for them. But the, that's the, that's that time, that time, sure, we'll, we'll go with that. What? No, no, tr trust me, because I, I, I'm gonna prove to you that it wasn't the norm. It's not the norm. Yeah, I'm gonna prove. I'm gonna I'm show you that. But I'm. But for now, for the sake of argument, I'm yeah. going with this. Right, okay. So let, let's say, for the sake of argument, it's normal to marry young, okay. right? For the sake of argument, in the seventh century. Yeah. But in the twenty, in the twenty-first century, I don't know what the century is, yeah. uh, like uh, back at Muhammad's time. Back in, back in that time, like, you know, 600s or whatever, okay? Um, but in, the tw in, in 2022, we know that that's wrong for us to do today, right? So we cannot, that's not a, that wouldn't be a good example for me to follow or else I'll end up in jail, right? So that means that Muhammad is not the best example for every generation. He's only a good example for that generation that he was in. For any period of time. So if he, so notice how if he's, if you're saying that he's the example for any period of time, then you could sleep with a little girl today. He wouldn't do that today. How do you know? Because that's not the norm for today. The oh. norm for that day was doing this. Okay, so if I prove to you that it's not the norm of the day, then we'll get over that, right? So, so you, okay, all right. If you have your studies, you already got prepared for whatever it is, right? So you already know if there wasn't. I'm pretty sure the norm was to do that back then. How you, how, you're pre, okay, you say you're pretty that. sure? Tell me that. Okay. okay tell me. You, uh, you, you familiar with Muhammad's daughter? Muhammad, Fa Fatima? Fatima? Fatima, yeah. Sure. Now, do you remember when Umar and Abu Bakr came asking for Fatima's hand in marriage? Yes, sir. Okay, let me show you that. Let me show you that really quick. I'm going to show you how Muhammad responded, of all people, what he said. And where are you finding this? In the Hadith, brother. Which one, Hadith? Which book? Let me, uh, let me get it for you. I think it's in Sahih Al-Bukhari. Let me just make sure and check for you. Oh, it's Sunan Nasai. 
Sunan on the side, not Sahih al Bukhari, but Sunan on the side, Sahih. It's one of the uh, one of the authentic books of uh, collections of hadith. So this is what it says. Go ahead and read that. Okay. She's too young, right? Okay. So even with Muhammad, when it came to giving his daughter in marriage, yeah. she was too young. So hear me out. We, you and I, cannot read a hadith and say, "Oh, this is what he said. This was going on. This is what I'm, I'm different." Bro, people Why not? do people do years, years of just one hadith? What was going on? What happened? Why did he say that? What, like, bro, yeah. years. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't want to marry Fatima to them. But, but, but why? What, why? Because they were too old. Okay, they were that's, too that's old. the reason why he. Well, that's what was what happening that day, that day and time. Why? Why was? Why uh, was according. Too young? What was? What was? What age was? Fatima a, uh, interesting. Right? So look. And so notice how that there is an age limit, right? There is a proceeding to what where there's a there's an idea of what's too young. What was going in that day and age for him? Peace be upon him. The man that does not speak of his desires to say that she is young. What, why, what was he thinking? He was thinking you know, that, yes. Come on. Yes, I'm telling you. How are you going to tell me? Okay. Because we can only go with what Muhammad tells us. Okay, but how you can't, I'm telling you people do studies for years before they say, I, I know this is what it is. So can we just at least say from the hadith that we read, Muhammad said his daughter was too young. So, okay, let me, let's just, are you a scholar? I am not a scholar. I am not a scholar. I'm, I'm a sheikh. I don't know what's going on in that story. If I read that. They call me Sheikh Logic, that. bro. Huh? They call me Sheikh Logic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen to me. I'm I feel listening. I, by all means, this religion is logical. It is super logical. But you and I cannot give our own. What I'm not. A, I'm not giving a definite. Did, but look, you're did this I read this? And this is what it means. This is what is. This is what we read, right? Look, I, I, I am not going to insult your intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want you as a Muslim to insult mine. Right. Do not tell me, yeah. and I will never tell you that yeah. you can't read what's in front of you. Bro, if I you're saying, listen, that, listen, I need to study it. that's. I respect that, brother. If you're saying, you know what? I see this. It does say that. Let me go do some research on yeah. that. I respect that. Yeah, yeah. I can instead of other people who come up here and pontificate like they, oh no, that's not what it means, or no, that's a weak hadith. Yeah, I can't respect that. I can respect a man saying, you know what? That the hadith does say that. I gotta do some research before I give my full opinion. I, do. I, I, I appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. that. So this is where I stand on this so far, okay? So at least from where we're at now, according to the hadith and the teaching of Islam, right. it, was, it wasn't the norm right. to marry, marry young. young. It, it's, just, it's just something that either some people did, some people didn't. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't necessarily culturally the norm. As a matter of fact, the Byzantine Empire, even in the same time of Muhammad, they raised the age of um, consent, basically, for a, a child to, to, I think they, ch they changed it to 13 uh, for, for the Byzantine Empire. So that was the Christian community, the Roman right, right, Empire, right, right, right. while Muhammad got with Aisha when she was young and right, right. yada yada. So even then, in the same time of Muhammad, there were societies that understood that no, it needs to be raised. It, it, you, it can't. They can't be too young. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, we can't say that it was the norm. If we do, if we, I, I want you to do the research on this. From what I studied, it wasn't the norm in that society as a whole. In, you in, know? The, in the Arab society, that yeah. was not the norm. Yeah, no. So, okay. um, so, I, and even Muhammad like was like, no, she's too young. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If you want to snapshot or take a picture of it or something like that, you can, brother. Yeah, you you won't remember that. You you, need, you might need to remember. Or, this is this is one thing that I really love to do, mm -hmm. right? Um, by all means, I could I could send it to you if you want on Instagram or something. What, though, in in right. this day and age, I truly believe, right? This is the way. It's a straight line. You follow this, you're on the line. You to know, what? To, to success. What success? In this world and hereafter, whatever you. Jay Z successful? No, he ain't. What? No, he he's, he's successful no, in this he world. You, he's successful, and what you think is successful. Ah, so but he's so in in the with the worldly, with the worldly criteria, he looks successful, what right? Is, what is so successful? that's what I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I what asked is the, you. What, what, is the, what is the definition of success? I, I, that's what I want to know. I, like you said. No, but because you said Jay Z is successful. What is successful? So, so look, so look. If, if Jay Z in your eyes is successful, let me let me let me tell you let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I gave that response. Uh -huh. Because you said it's leading to the straight path. Yeah. I said to what? 
You said to success. Yeah. I said, what is success? You said, you, I said, what success? You said success in this life and the next. Yeah. I said, well, Jay-Z is successful in this life. You said, no, he's not. So it looks like we both have two different things of success. So forget what I mean by success. What do you mean by success? No, I so I can mean, understand you. you were asking, no, I went, okay, success. So, yeah. Uh, I, I don't even know how to explain success. Oh, you know what I mean? But. So for me, it, with, what the worldly view of success is, you know, Money, good job, family, yada yada. I say contentment. It's contentment. Yeah. So, if a Christian, for example, tells you, "Yeah, the Christianity led me to contentment," would you say that that's the religion of truth? So that means that it can't be good enough to say Islam is the religion of truth. We need something more foundational. Cool. You know what I'm saying? We need truth, yeah. something that's irrefutable, yeah. something that's foundational you can stand on. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, like, um, like for example, you believe in prophecy? Prophecy. Like that. God, God fore foretells the future, and and it happens. You believe that God does that? That He speaks, okay. and then it happens in the future, yeah. right? If you do A, B, and C, and D, you will end up at E and G. Yeah, sure. Now, now let's say like, so prophets they prophesy, they give God's message, and they even tell the future. They say what's going to happen in the future, right? right? in verbatim. Right. Now God in the Bible, he challenges the idol worshipers to tell their gods to prophesy. Tell the future like I do, he says in the book of Isaiah. He says, tell your, tell your gods to tell the future from the end, from right. the beginning. Right. Do it if they're true, right. Right? right? Watch your gods be silent and mute right. because they're fake, right. they're false idols, right. they're, and you're fools for following them, right. right? So prophecy is something that gives an evidence a fingerprint for God like you know it's God because you can't deny he foretold that it's gonna happen right. right so I want to test something for you I'm gonna read something to you and I want you to tell me who it sounds like to you okay and I guarantee you you're gonna get it okay you don't even have to I'm not gonna tell you where I'm reading it from but I guarantee you're gonna understand what it is okay so this is what it is so you ready you listening carefully all right here it goes it says Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, our sins, and upon him was the punishment that brought us peace. And by his wounds we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have each turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the sins of us all. Who does that sound like to you? That sounds like the Bible. Who's he, who do you think it's talking about? You talking? <laughs> who's he? Yeah, who's he? I'm asking, who, who do you think it's talking about, the, the person who took our sins? Who's the person that's talking about? Uh, I, I will tell you that in a, in a little bit. <laughs> I can't. The person that's talking, we, I, I tell you. Who's talking. No, run. No, listen, listen. Just follow me. Follow me. Just follow me. Right. Okay. Cool. Look, I'm going to tell you everything. Okay. I, but at first, I want you to tell me who it sounds like to you. There's no right or wrong. Okay. I'm just seeing your, what, what you think. There's no right or wrong. Just off the top of the head. No, there is a right or wrong. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> well, 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 listen, but, but don't. No pressure, bro. No pressure. Off the top of the head, who does it sound like who was pierced for our transgressions, wounded for our sins, and took our punishment for us? Who does that sound like to you? That sounds like what you guys, what you, what you guys believe in. About who? About Isa. And for the English speakers, who is that? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, exactly. Now, now I'll tell you okay. where I read this from. This is in the book of Isaiah. Okay. This is the ch chapter 53 of Isaiah, right? And... This was written, this was written 700 years before Jesus was born. How is that impossible? Exactly. How is it possible? Prophecy. It's God's fingerprint saying, I truly am the true God, and I'm going to speak 700 years prior to an event even happening. Okay. And you're going to know that I am God. There's not, that's, that, well, that's what I'm asking. So this is, this is not what Muhammad did. Muhammad didn't prophesy anything. Okay, but he didn't prophesy, so he didn't prophesy, he didn't prophesy anything? No. Oh my God! Logic.